So in this video we're going to be looking at an example of a transition matrices and seeing how it can be used to solve a Markov chain question. So the example, the question is, so a train has a 70% chance of being on time if the previous train was on time at the station and 40% chance of it being on time if the previous train was late. So first we can sort of see it's a Markov chain question because firstly there are two outcomes, it's dependent on the probability of the previous train and unless it says so we can assume that the probability, the conditional probabilities are constant. So what is a part A? So what is the probability that the third train is on time if the first train is late? So the first thing to realize with the question is that we're talking about the third train, so we're not caring about the middle sort of trains, we're only caring about sort of like the final train, so like the third train. So you can think about this sort of as like the final outcome. It's not asking us to work out what's the probability of two of the trains being late, just the final one. So that's how we can know we can use the transition matrix for this question. So we need to set it up. So we'll look at here being on time and we'll think about sort of on time as being the success and then we'll put down here is late. So firstly on time. So that's a 70% chance of being on time if the previous train was on time. So we know that this has to be 0 0.7 because if there's a 70% chance of it being on time, um, if the previous was on time, then obviously you can just sub in 0 0.7. Now we'll put down here that this one is late, that this row is late, and this column is late. But remember, these are for the previous and these are for the current. So this is for the the current train, these are like for the previous ones. Uh, so if, what is the chance of the currently being late if the previous one was on time? Well we know that it has to be 1 minus 0 0.7, so there's a 30% chance of it being late if the previous train was on time. So remember that these have to add up to 1. So we can put down here that this has to be 0 0.3. And notice again that this adds up to 1. So what is, we'll look at the next part of the question. So at the station, and 40% chance of it being on time, so 40% chance of it being on time, if previously was late. So we know that previously was late, so it's referring to here, and then for, we know it's currently talking about being on time. So because of those two, we can find out that we're looking at this point here. So then, what is the chance? So there's a 40% chance, so we can sub in that number there, 0 0.4. Now, what is the chance of it being late, given that it was late? Well, once again, we can look at this and say that if there's a 40% chance of it being on time, we can say it's a 60% chance of it being late if the previous train was late. So then we can put down here, 0 0.6. And we can work that out because we know that in total, this has to sum to 1, and this has to sum to 1. Now that we've got the transition matrix here, we have to work out what the initial condition is. So initially it said that the first train was late. So then we know that S refers to the, the probability of it being on time, because we said that is now the success, over the probability of it being late. Now if it says the first train is late, that means sort of 100% probability that it's late. So S is now equal to 0, 1. So now we know that S is equal to 0, 1. Now we want to know what the probability is of the third train. So we have the first train, the second train, and the third train. The first one was the initial condition. So we already know that. That's, referred, that's shown by S. That's the probability. Then there's obviously going to be going to the second. So that's N equals 1. And then from the second to the third, that means it's going n equals 2. Now we're going looking at the formula, remember that Sn is equal to Tn times S0. So S2, so that's referring to the third train, is equal to 0 0.7, the transition matrix, so 0 0.7, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.6 to the power of 2. So th with these questions, you're assuming it's going to be CAS, um, calc uh, active. 
then times that by 0, 1. So summing this to your calculator, we get 0 0.52, 0 0.48. So this refers to saying that the probability of the third train is on time. So looking at the top one, so like on time here, is going to be 0 0.52, so 52%, and the chance of it being late is going to be 0 0.48. Ask about being on time, so you'd answer it and say that the probability of the third train, just you'd write it down, the third train, sort of being on time is 0 0.5. Two. So the main thing is remember that formula, look at how to set up the transition matrix here, look at the initial condition, and then sub in those values. So the next part of the question is, if a train is on time, what is the probability that the next one is late? So this is continuing from the question, so we can keep the same transition matrix here. So saying if a train is on time, what is the probability that the next one is late? Well is on time, so then we can look at what the, is the initial condition. Well, S is equal to therefore 1, 0, because there's a 100% chance that he, up here is going to be on time. And then it's what are the probability that the next one is late? Well, if we have the first one and then the second one in train, so this one is accounted by the S, which is initial condition here, then we're talking about the second one, so n is equal to 1. Get out the formula again, and then we have that s is equal to t times s0, which is equal to 0 0.7, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.6, times that by 1, 0, and we get that s is equal to 0 0.7 and you can just do, you don't even have to use a calculator for this, you can use matrix multiplication, so 0 0.7 times 1 is 0 0.7, 0 0.4 uh, times 0 is 0, so it's a 0 0.7, then 0 0.3 times 1 is 0 0.3 plus 0 is 0 0.3. So now what is the probability the next one is late? Well that's the bottom, so therefore the probability of it being late is just equal to 0 0.3. The third part of the question. If the next train has a 0.9% chance of it being on time, what is the probability that the train two after that train is on time? So first we've already got the transition matrix here. Then it's saying we need to work out what the initial condition is. So what S is equal to. Now it's saying if you remember, this is a probability of it being on time. And then this is a probability of it being late. So the initial one is obviously going is the next train. And then that has a 0.9% chance of it being on time, and therefore a 0.1 chance of it being late. So that gives us 0 0.9 and 0 0.1. Notice how previously we just did 1, 0, and that's because there was a 100% chance. But we don't know for certain what the next train is going to be late or not. They're, they've just given us a probability. So what is the probability that the train two after that is on time? So we need to know, work out what n is equal to. So we have the next train. And then we have one after. And then we have two after. So the next train is governed by s, so the initial condition. And then one after would be n equals one, because we've just gone one. And then two after would have n is equal to two. So it's important to realize what, which one you're talking about. So therefore we can say that s2 is equal to two to the t times s. So we know that s, uh, like the train two after, is equal to the transition matrix here. the power of 2, not times 2, to the power of 2, times s, which is 0 0.9, 0 
So you solve this into your calculator, and you get that it equals 0 0.601 over 0 0.399. So you can, if it was, let's say, two decimal places, you could just approximate over, yeah, zero to 0 0.60 and 0 0.40. And the question says, what is the chance that it is on time? So you remember that on time is a top. So you can say that that the probability of it of like this the two after being on time is equal to zero is equal to zero point six. So obviously if you had a bit more space and you'd write it out a bit better. So the probability of the the train two after the the next train is 60% or 0 0.6 and make sure you look at how many decimal places.